Hi everyone and welcome back. We are here to discuss Litecoin, an important coin in the realm of cryptocurrencies. I'm sure some of you are already familiar with it. For those of you who are not, we're going to get into the establishment of Litecoin and some recent information related to it. So let's just jump right into it. Litecoin is actually seen as the silver or copper to Bitcoin's gold due to its similarities and was released in 2011. After its launch in 2011, it became the second most popular currency, but did run into some trouble. In 2015, it had a bit of a tough time with undermined acceptance due to a Chinese Litecoin Ponzi scheme. And we can see that as a bit of a negative, but we can also see that in May 2018, compatibility with BlockNet protocol was adapted for Litecoin. And again, we're going to get into that in a moment. Keep that in mind because that is a big positive for Litecoin. So we can go a little further into the establishment. We know it was released in 2011 and it's open source so that it's not managed by any central authority. The Litecoin network went live a few days later after its release and was a fork of the Bitcoin client. And although it's seen as the copper or silver to Bitcoin because it's almost identical to Bitcoin, it does have some differences, such as a decreased block generation time, an increased max number of coins, and uses a different hash algorithm and modified GUI. And we can think that the decreased time in the realm of cryptocurrencies, if you have the decreased time, the quicker transaction time and a decreased transaction cost, those are huge elements in the realm of cryptocurrencies. Litecoin was setting out to try and conquer that or at least establish that as a competitor in the realm of crypto. We always want, at least as on the user side, the decreased transaction costs. It's always more beneficial to us and a faster time as well. Some interesting notes with Litecoin is it, it actually became the first of the top five by market cap cryptocurrencies to adopt SegWit. And in 2017, it also became the first Lightning Network transaction completed through Litecoin, transferred Litecoin from Zurich to San Francisco in under one second. Now that's pretty impressive. And again, we get into transactions, the cost of transactions are with Litecoin around 1 50th of the size. And with Litecoin, we also have that faster transaction time. And crypto users see Litecoin as more stable because the pricing acts more rationally. And that's always great if you're looking to invest into something, you would kind of want something to behave more rationally. It kind of helps with the prediction of it. So what also helps is that there can only ever be 84 million Litecoins with almost 56 million already released. Now this is seen as a positive because having a fixed amount can help versus inflation. Unlike hard currencies such as the dollar or the euro, because we all are familiar with inflation related to those fiat currencies. So it can be seen as a more sustainable currency long term. And an important note of Litecoin, again, we mentioned earlier that problem that Litecoin had with the undermined acceptance in 2015 due to a Chinese Litecoin Ponzi scheme. But this news is fantastic for Litecoin. And this happened in May of 2018 with the compatibility of BlockNet. And for those of you who are not familiar with BlockNet, BlockNet is a system that allows investors and cryptocurrency users to exchange virtual currencies without the intervention of a third party. The process is completed via atomic swaps, meaning that anyone who has fiat or other cryptocurrency can easily exchange it for Litecoin without having to rely on third parties. And that's huge in the realm of cryptocurrency as well, not having to rely on third parties, being able to swap and exchange Litecoin for other cryptocurrencies. The adaption and compatibility of BlockNet, a big plus for Litecoin. So for those of you who are looking to invest into it, or for those of you who have had it and have already invested into Litecoin, this is some great news. Also, on a side note, if you're looking to integrate Litecoin and you can visit the following page here and see the information related to integrating Litecoin. And it's pretty easy because as we've mentioned, it's got such similarities to Bitcoin and it has full compatibility with the Bitcoin API. It's pretty easy to integrate into existing applications that already offer Bitcoin support. You can find information as a developer using Bitcoin, as a merchant, 
and as a business that already supports Litecoin. You can actually register your site here. Just a great another feature to see options on the coin on the currencies page for offering integration with the currency. All right, we can see faster transactions that Litecoin initially set out to accomplish. We can see that the max Litecoin is being mined daily with every two and a half minutes, a block being mined that generates 14,400 Litecoins daily. As with all crypto, it's becoming much more relevant as merchants and institutions adopt their use for services. Litecoin is gaining traction with some recent merchants accepting it. So try to keep it on your radar for the remainder of 2018 and 2019. And again, with the compatibility of BlockNet, I think we're going to see it consistently grow. We're going to see that undermine acceptance from the Chinese Litecoin Ponzi scheme in 2015. Don't think that's going to be so much of an issue with the compatibility of BlockNet. It's definitely going to help related to that factor of Litecoin. So try to keep it on your radar. If you have any questions, please feel free to share them in the Q&A. And with that, enjoy cryptocurrencies.